All right, Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. This is for November 27th through the 3rd of December, 2017. And this video is for site Dariel. If you are new to the channel, check out the link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs um, from mainstream astrology. All right, so Virgo, this uh, week we do have some important events taking place, most of which are concentrated over the weekend. We'll talk about them, but essentially um, it is a full moon at the end of the week, which means as we progress through the week, we will be getting some insight and some momentum uh, to move some things forward. So the um, beginning of the week, we do have Mercury going over Saturn. So this is your ruler over Saturn, probably establishing some new foundations in your life, some things you wanna take seriously or discipline yourself with. And this could just generally be about you, um, but it is happening in the right in between the areas that have to do with your communication and how you think about things as well as your home and your family life or even your health. So these personal things, emotional, let's say emotional and mental things, right? And so Mercury is gonna go retrograde at the end of the week. He's gonna dip back into your third house. And so where the real re-examination I think is, is on your perspective, on communication, and anything that uh, you've been working on establishing already uh, with this stuff, with Saturn, who's already been transiting this third house of yours for the past couple of years. Now, do keep in mind that with this retrograde, it is like you're finishing it up because Saturn is going to be going into your fourth house through 2018, 2019, uh, helping you set some solid foundations with your home life, your roots, your emotions, and your health. All, right, all these, these solid foundations with that stuff, which uh, really is the pillar of the chart. All right, so that's the beginning of the week. Yeah, anything you can take seriously in general. Also, maybe even too with your career, actually, since Mercury rules your 10th. Some of you starting some new beginnings with some discipline there as well. Now, once we get into about Thursday, Friday, we do have Mars opposite up to Uranus. There's a bit of this uh, chaotic, erratic type of energy, nervous energy, depending on how you're feeling it, and maybe none of the above. A lot of this depends on your personal chart and most importantly, how we work with this. Um, so the best way of working with this is it's all about balance with oppositions, but anything involving Mars and Uranus anyways, because they're very different energies. Mars is what we want now. Uranus is all about changing things up in such a way that it's, it's supposed to be very spontaneous. But in an opposition, it can be kind of taken to a bit of an extreme. So if you feel like there's any erratic energy involving relationships or that you're wanting some freedom in those relationships, um, good to be aware of that. Uranus has been helping you have more freedom in this area for like the past uh, seven, eight years at this point. And so doing that, having freedom there, but with balance and moderation, because the fact is, is that, you know, these past couple months, you've been very direct. I think there's been a lot of motivation and drive for you to be put into your goals and the things that, um, you know, you want in life, your personal needs with Mars in your sign. And so now it's this time of balance between your personal needs and relationship needs, right? And finding that balance there with also autonomy, which is like freedom, your freedom of autonomy and relationships, right? So finding that balance is a great way of working with it. Also bring some extra attention maybe to your communication and on vulnerability perhaps since Mars does rule your third and your eighth house. So this weekend, along with that full moon, we do have Jupiter trining up to Neptune. And so um, there is this uh, very supportive energy going into all the way up until August of 2018. And so this is uh, the first aspect with this. And it's very much about having a nice harmony and a nice flow when it comes to certain things. And for you, I think it is involving your work um, and your day-to-day uh, -day and your routine. Now, the full moon is going to be activating this. Neptune is going to be squaring up to this. So we'll talk about the challenging side of this. But generally, between now and 26, uh, August of 2018, there is this very good uh, receptivity about this area, this flow about it, some unconditionality about the day-to-day -day and work and routine. And that's from Jupiter, Jupiter trining up to Neptune there. And Neptune actually trining up to Jupiter, who's been in your first house. A lot of you have been expanding this past year and a half, which is great. And so you can have a bit of this easygoingness, receptive energy, um, aspecting your sign. Now, what a lot of you will start to notice, I think next week, if maybe some of you this week, is the shift towards feeling a bit self-reliant, feeling a bit like you want to cultivate your resources in life, like finances and things like that. So you have some positive support with that, with Jupiter making his way into your second, as well as this trine with Neptune. So let's talk about this full moon with this square to Neptune type of stuff. 
The uh, full moon will be in your ninth house of long distance matters, of uh, philosophy, of expanding your horizons, whether it's mentally or quite literally. So whatever pertains to that, it might be travel, it might be university for some of you, spirituality. Um, this is now a status check with this. And so great time to evaluate this area, even to just evaluate your life path, in fact, how are things unfolding there? And how are you viewing what's possible in life? Do you have open belief systems, open perspectives? Now, with that being said, it is also testing with the square to Neptune. And the test is, are we present? Um, there will be this collective energy of maybe uncertainty, or maybe it's a bit of um, like a malaise or a sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a uh, apathy, perhaps. So anything like that um, is obviously the byproduct of the mind trying to figure things out. So this is about being present and surrendering everything that is outside of our control when it comes to the life path, when it comes to the work and routine. And with that perspective, I think this can be a very constructive full moon, really grounding the spiritual energy where all of us are becoming more present about things in life. And I think particularly about these things here with these houses. Now, I also want to bring your attention to the fact that, again, your third house is highly concentrated. So the other you know, integration point with this full moon will be that while it's a status check with what's possible, it is also this continuous development of what's practical. And that's what a lot of you have been working on lately with Saturn, right? And then a lot of you, again, maybe doing studies or courses or working on correspondence or your communication is practical stuff. And so finishing it up, you can have Mercury retrograde uh, going retrograde this weekend. He's going to go into your third house. Most of his retrograde is going to be here. So these next few weeks, you're going to be reestablishing, rethinking your whole communication sector your whole practical sector and what you're learning. For those of you who have been taking courses or doing writing, you're gonna go back and maybe restudy, or maybe you're gonna um, take some notes, or maybe you're gonna re-edit your book or whatever. It's that kind of a thing. So allow yourself that uh, energy, that time to do that. And like I said, you're finishing all that up uh, before this next push into December and January, which will be about establishing your home and your health sector with that fourth house. All right, so Virgo, have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all very soon for the next forecast. Take care.